Hey guys, welcome to JPT. I'm Carson G, and this is Just Plain Tech. Your typical Linux distribution, especially if it's based off Debian or Ubuntu, probably comes ready-made right out of the box. However, Slackware simply isn't that easy. Well, it's not. There are. It's not too much to configure Slackware. It's not as much as you'd have to do with like Arch Linux or something like that. There is still a bit of configuring to do. And after you've set a Slack package, you might notice, I can't really get anything on Slack package. There, there's like no package repository, pretty much. We are going to fix that. Today, using a simple tool called Slack Package Plus, we are going to add third-party repositories to Slack package to allow us to install a ton more apps a ton quicker and really easily. So once you're on your Slackware desktop, really, you're just going to open up Firefox real quick. And then this link right here, it'll probably be blue for you, but it's it will say download Slack package plus. We're going to uh, we're going to go ahead and click that. Now, if you are using Slackware current, you will go ahead and get this first one right here. However, if you're using Slackware 14.2, you will go ahead and get this one. Slack package 1.7.0, no arch, 12, MT, whatever. I'm using Slackware 14.2, so I'm going to go ahead and get this one. And we will go ahead and save it. All right, once we've done that, we'll just go ahead and close that out. Now we'll open up a terminal and really we're just going to type in two simple commands right here, at least for this first part. So if I can go ahead and full screen this. Okay, so now we need to type in sue and we will enter our password. All right, now we will type in cd slash home slash whatever your username is. Mine is Carson G. If you don't know what your username is, you can just go to the menu and you can, it will tell you right there. All right. Home Carson G downloads. And enter. Now we will click LS. And this one right here, Slack Package Plus TGZ. We'll just go ahead and copy that and now we will type in install pkg and paste it in right there and there we go it's entered right now it says you must rerun slack package update all right now we're going to type in nano etsy Etsy slack pkg slack package and then slack package plus dot conf all right and it should look like this okay so it will bring us here we're just gonna go down 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 to right here there we go so right here it gives us all our repositories so we will remove the little hashtag on the first three but do not uncomment slacky just leave that one how it is but yeah We'll remove the comment on all the first three. Now we will click Control X. We will do yes. Enter. And there we go. Now.
now we will run slack package update oh yeah first we will run slack package update gpg if it spits out the error you know just run that command real quick should be good and then once this is finished running which it is then now we will run slack package update there we go once that's updated there you go you've got third-party repositories much more packages on your system and it will install much quicker and much faster for sure so yeah so enjoy it's so much faster than using SBO UI to install things so if you can install something from slack package I'd recommend I'd highly recommend it and uh, note just take note that you use it the same way you normally use slack package it just has more mirrors so you don't have to change the way you normally use slack package it still works the same it's just that it has a ton more packages that you can install and it's really quick and easy thank you guys so much for watching this video please make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell down below if you haven't already and also let me know down in the comments how quickly you could install Chromium with Slack package. Yeah, remember back before you had to compile the packages and everything, or you just had to stick with Firefox? Now, thanks to Slack package plus, you can install it easily and quickly and just about any package you want. It's really great. And I've been using my Slackware system a lot more now that it can actually install packages just as quickly and efficiently as I would on a Debian based Linux distribution. It's really nice now. Anyway, thank you for watching as always. We'll see you next time.